Hi, my name is Celeste. This show is about my stepfather, Kurt Zimmerman. Kurt Zimmerman would have loved this show and he would have really hated the coronavirus, the reason that we are not gathering to have an in-person opening of this show. This is a retrospective of 40 years of his work. Kurt left us when he was 92 years young. Despite how much he believed in an afterlife and life in the galaxy and extraterrestrial beings, he wasn't ready to go. And I know he would have loved this show. Hurricanes, illness, political strife all had a really negative effect on Kurt and his health. At the age of five, he came to this country with his parents from Germany. And as a teenager, he was drafted into World War II into the Army, a section that's now the Air Force, and was a radio operator and bombing missions in Germany. After the Korean War, he went into the private sector as a government contractor in what he'd only vaguely descri describe as spy-like work. When he was about 45 years old, he had a nervous breakdown and then for years was in and out of hospitals, psychiatric facilities, underwent electric shock therapy and psychiatric care. His work during that time was a reflection of the demons and the creatures that inhabited his mind. When he was about 70, however, his work became much more colorful, as you can see by the colors that he uses now. He painted creatures, animals, pets, people, anything inspired him, trash inspired him. Styrofoam packing inspired him. He did not paint from actual objects, but only from memory. And it was his interpretation of the subject's likeness that we see, and not the likeness actually of what he was painting. And unfortunately to some of our chagrin or horror in the family, our portraits would often reflect that likeness and maybe our bad hair day. This show includes work from the last four decades. Janine at JT Folk Gallery has approximately 60 pieces of Kurt's work from that period, reflecting all different topics that he painted. There are cards that represent photos that he took personally that are one of a kind available there too. Kurt believed in extraterrestrial beings, UFOs, crop circles, psychic phenomenon. He read Deepak Chopra, Eckhart Tolle. He wrote his own spiritual writings and poems. He had an engineer's brain, and he had a lot of drawings that he did and sketches of space, planets. He was a great talent in the folk art world. I hope you get an opportunity to see this show. Kurt loved painting with young children. He felt like their creative channels were still open, that they hadn't been influenced by society, <laughs> peer pressure, or their parents. So he especially liked to work with his grandchildren and his great-grandchildren. And Katie here was his youngest grandchild, and he especially liked to work with Katie. And Katie, you wanna tell him about your collaborative work with your grandpa? Mm -hmm. So it was really my dream painting with him, and I was about three or four, I think, and I really got too far with the sparkles, <laughs> but I really liked them. But my dream was to really do art and paint with him, and it was one of the most exciting moments of my life. Well, we've done our best to represent a great man and, and his work, and I really appreciate to have this moment. We're very sad that we're not gathering as a group, but in the sake of everybody staying healthy, uh, this is the best thing. I do hope that you'll get the opportunity to see the work while it's at JT Folk Gallery and uh, what's displayed on the video. 
Thank you very much for your time.